Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Happy Easter to you. Where? Yeah, that's my line. Then you respond. You're not very patient? <laughs> you know, that's a discussion for another time. Uh, but RG beat me to it. The Lord has risen. This side was better than this side. <laughs> so let's try that again. The Lord has risen. He is risen indeed. Very nice. I'm just going to breeze over a few announcements uh, before we move into our hour together of worshiping and praising our God. You see our uh, little announcement sheet here. Please take a look at it. Take it with you. Uh, there's some good things going on in the life of this congregation. We'd like you to be part of that. Um, big thing that I want to really bring to your attention is the uh, second and fourth Sunday, the 10th and the 24th of this month, the missions team will be taking noisy offerings. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with that, during the worship service, we do a special offering time where we literally pass around pots, and we want to hear noise. So whatever loose change you have in your pocket in that time or that you've gathered at home, you just, you don't place it in gently. You put it in with a crescendo. We want to hear the clattering of metal on metal. Um, it's, it sounds cheesy, but it's actually kind of fun. Uh, this year, this, this time, we're uh, gathering them around, and uh, as always, we have it go to one of our compassion partners this year. As you can see there in the note, there's a thanks that we collected the, all the potatoes for the, for the um, open door for their food pantry so that folks that go to Open Door can have some good fresh spuds uh, to celebrate on their Easter Sunday as they gather together with their families. Um, so please remember our, uh, our noisy offering happening uh, the second and fourth of this month. Uh, how'd the Easter egg hunt go yesterday? I wasn't able to make it. Was it good? Okay. Cool. And about 18 adults with the volunteers. Good. Is there anything else that needs to be gone over and announced besides the noisy offering? Then let's do what we came here to do. I'm one of those pastors where Christmas is okay, but Easter is what it's all about. In my opinion, celebrating Jesus' birth is okay. And for some reason, commercially, we love it because it's something that we get. It inspires a party. It inspires gift-giving. It inspires folks to maybe get more of an advantage than they realize that they're given. But Easter... Well, that's the gift that stands the test of time. For as we gather on this day, we not only celebrate that our Lord sent his Son into this world, he broke through all the barriers that people believe separated themselves from God. What we really celebrate is the fact that that Savior gave his life, and then our God resurrected him from the grave, where the finality of death is not something to be afraid of, not something to be held over us, but something to recognize that our God is more powerful than that. And in the power of the resurrection of Easter that happens, the promise of God remembering his son, Jesus shares that exact same promise with us. So as we come into this time of worship, we need to remember that God makes good on his promises. He resurrected his son. He'll do the same for us when our time comes. I realize it has the opening prayer listed first, but that is a misprint because my head was somewhere else when I put the order of worship together. So we're going to stand and we're going to sing our opening praise songs, He Lives and Christ Arose. Bob, Mary, when you're ready, let's stand and let's sing. Thank you. 
loving and ever faithful God, through the, through the divine wisdom of your calling, we gather out of the darkness. The darkness that has spoken its worth in the death of our Savior. But you gather us, O God, not in fear, not in wonder, but in celebration and awe in the light of our resurrected Savior. Enable us to recall your acts of mercy in our lives, the miracles by which you deliver us each day, the signs of your unwavering love for this world, which proclaim the gospel, the resurrection, and the life. Allow us to feel and experience that evermore in this hour as we gather and worship that your Son has arisen. For it is his name that we gather, worship, and pray. Amen. Amen. 